I'm already out there on the streets. I hear things like this ketamine racket. I'll see what I can dig up. How's that for an olive breath? Serious. Just like that. Look, I'll help where I can. <laughs> what? I'm just a little shocked. I'm just used to Pendra's people being more like him. I just think we'd be better off helping each other. Come on, what do you say? I could really use the help if you're willing to give it. Well, all right. Hey guys, welcome back to Sleeping Dogs, the Definitive Edition. Okay, just really quick before we get started on the gameplay today, a couple of book bookkeeping notes. Um, when we were going through our wardrobe before, I think it was in here, yeah. You may be wondering where this came from, um, why this particular shirt showed up in our inventory. This showed up as part of the Community Gift Pack DLC, and it uh, unlocked when we did the complete the uh, night market chase mission so uh, the last mission that we did um, typically this isn't going to happen very often um, most of the outfits that we have to get will unlock in, during the DLCs but um, we have to go buy them uh, sorry I don't know why the cursor is sitting there like that um, so yeah, uh, the other thing I, re I realized as I was editing the episode last week was that in all the excitement of getting our new apartment and our new vehicle, uh, we also got a, um, a new report, which I totally forgot to look at, so we should probably do that. Um, it wasn't Winston 2. There it is. CI report on Sam Dogeyes Lynn. Let's take a look. Source codename Scoundrel. Report submitted by Detective Raymond Mack. Scoundrel claims to have close knowledge of the Jade Gang operations, including Dog Eyes Lin, the alleged leader of the gang. Scoundrel claims that Dog Eyes recently received a major infusion of cash for the purpose of expanding Jade Gang operations into the neighboring Sun On Yi territory. This fits, with this fits with police surveillance, indicating heightened tension between Sun On Yi factions and increased violence in and around the North Point Police District. However, it does not explain why the Jade Gang would risk punitive action by Sun On Lee leadership by targeting an allied faction under the protection of the Dragonhead. Given Dragonhead David Uncle Poe's productivity and extreme violence, the risk here is considerable, especially for Dog Eyes Lin himself. Scoundrel reports that Lin is motivated by a combination of greed and ambition. On the surface, this seems insufficient, especially given a robust 18k activity in his territory which could profitably which could be profitably assaulted. When he put up when put to scoundrel, he asserted that the cash provided by to Dog Eyes was conditional upon hitting the right targets, that is, Winston Chu's Water Street boys, and that Lin was too greedy to say no and too stupid to be afraid of discipline by Sun On Yi elders. Okay. So there you go. We got that all caught up. Alright guys, let's uh head out. Um we have done four missions uh, out of the total of 30 in the main story. Uh, two of them, of course, were tutorial missions, so it doesn't really have a whole lot of effect, but um, that's, what, about 13%? So I think what we'll do is we'll hold off on main missions for a little bit till we get other stuff caught up, because we are clearly not caught up. So, we have a new case available down here. Um, I think that's what we're going to go take care of right now. So, let's head out. So, yeah, I mean, there's stuff that has not unlocked yet. Um, as I mentioned before, um, that we're probably going to have to advance some missions to unlock. But uh, as long as we've got some other stuff to get done, we should probably work on a few other things. Um, just so we don't get too far ahead in the missions. Let's go see what's what the dealio is here. Hello. 
what are you doing here? I'm sure you and Penju have a lot of top-secret backdoor business to attend to. Look, I'm sorry about how I acted in there. You know, just playing the part. I'm already out there on the streets. I hear things like this ketamine racket. I'll see what I can dig up. How's that for an olive branch? You're serious? Just like that? Look, I'll help where I can. <laughs> what? I'm just a little shocked. I'm just used to Pendra's people being more like him. I just think we'd be better off helping each other. Come on, what do you say? I could really use the help if you're willing to give in. Well, all right. <laughs> okay. All right, text Ming. Okay. What does Ming want? Why, Winston wants me to check up on you. Everything cool? All right. Meet me at the market noodle shop. Hmm, okay. Okay. All right, so this is her little operation going out here, so check this out. That's pretty cool. Dragon head. Winston Chu. Broken nose gang. Hmm. Interesting. Alrighty. Let's go. Oh, we got a collectible over there. I see a collectible. Oh, sorry. Sorry there, dude. Didn't mean for you to jump on the thing. Let's go grab this. These little cases are lying around. There we go. We got $5,000. One of 40 discovered in North Point. Oh, I didn't catch the rest of that. I think there's a hundred of those total. So yeah, those will provide... Oh, and here over here we got ourselves a uh, shrine. Let's grab that. Two of 15 shrines found in North Point. Three for the next health upgrade. So yeah. Very awesome. All right. So let's see what we got here. So we're going to go meet up with Ming. Popstar lead one. So yeah. These are the police case missions. Oh, did I not set a marker? I did not. All right. Let's go. All right, we'll walk from here. Everybody remember where we parked? Um, where's the entrance? There it is. All right, talk to Ming. Hey, Ming, how you doing? Me to beat you up this more. How's your connect? You getting everything you need? No, man. I haven't been back to Bob Star since I left all guys. I'm not sure how he's gonna take it. Want me to talk to him? Yeah. I'm just about out. So grab my next shipment and make sure everything is cool. Okay, go to Pop Star's courtside hangout. Alright, well it doesn't seem to be too far away. Oh, well, no, it's further away than thought. Okay, let's go check on uh, the Sky Pop Star. It's a terrible turning radius. Oh, property damage. Negative five points on the police. 
experience. All right, let's go investigate. Hey, is Pop Star around? What's when a nice looking boy like you wants with my boyfriend? This must be the guy, huh? You Pop Star? He's asking. Look, I work for Winston. Dirty Ming's operating in our territory. I want to make sure he's supplied. Sure, I'll fix him up. But, but what? I gotta get paid. In advance, I'll make it easy for you. A couple of deadbeat junkies owe me money. Guys used to deal for me before they became their own best customer. Collect what they owe me, and I'll hook your man up. All right, find the deadbeats. Okay. All right, let's go talk to these guys. Give me my money. Come on, come on. Can I get up some more? Can I get up some more? Alright, what am I supposed to do now? I don't even know. I thought we were just supposed to beat these guys up. Um, beat up the deadbeats to collect Pop Star's money. Okay, is there another one? I'm confused. This guy? Must be this guy. Guess that's that. Okay. Okay. Consider it done there, pop star. Yeah, keep walking. Keep walking. Okay, purchase drugs. I want to purchase the drugs. Who's that? Ang Shen. Best shit in Hong Kong. You got my money? Got your money. Here's your package. Help me. Stick with girls over fourteen this time. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, where did I put my bike? Well, it was over here. Apparently it's gone now. Alright. Dude, get on the bike! What are you doing? Okay, apparently we're gonna... Okay. Okay, this is ridiculous. Hey, there's a thing. Well, I wanted to get in a car, but... Sure. Get 
guys need to calm down. I guess I gotta get these guys off my face, out of my face. Oh, there's another one coming. Come on, guys. They keep getting up. Okay, guys. Good lord. Stop it. Okay, they just keep bringing more. Um, Alright, look. I don't know what's going on. We gotta get... Alright, you and the bike. Get off the bike. Oh, you bastard. You did not just freaking drive off. Would you get off? on the bike why won't you not get on the bike I don't understand I can't get rid of these guys not entirely sure what you want me to do here Innocent killed. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't kill anybody. Any innocent. I can't get in the car. Which is awesome. Alright. Tell you what. We're going to parkour our way out of this. Get off. Okay, okay. Oh my god. That was kind of horse crap. Dude, get out of the way. Guy's still chasing me. Hmm. This would be a lot easier if this guy wasn't right behind me. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. There's no way to get away from them. 
I'm not sure if I did that right. I don't know if there was a better way to do that, but oh my goodness. Okay, I'm supposed to call somebody. Inspector Tang? What have you found? I had enough to bust Popstar, but I also met a supplier, a guy named Fang Shen. Find out where he hangs out, and I'll see if I can get something on him. I'll get back to you. All right, bring the drugs to Ming. Well, sure. All right, now that I finally got rid of the cops, jeez. I don't think I did that right. There must have been a better way to do that um, because that seemed a little bit off. I have no idea where my bike is at this point. That's all right. We'll just go run over to um, Ming, give him the drugs. Okay, case update. Made contact with the target. Met Popstar's primary supplier. Noise. Cop experience. Identified supplier. HK-1200. Report Winston Hugh, Winston Chu and Sam Lin. Okay. So it looks like we might have another couple of reports. Tang, Popstar connect... Popstars connect supplies at Lok Fu Park. Do some surveillance. Okay. So let's take a look at that. We got a couple of new reports. Winston Chu and Sam Lin. Okay, one new report apparently. Background. Conflict between Winston Chu and Sam Lin. Codename Dragon. September 31st, 2010. Top secret. Subject. Background on Sun On Yi internal conflict. Much of Water Street Gang's activity is presently directed towards countering territorial and business threats by the Jade Gang, another Sun On Yi faction. The, warning, the Warring Red Pole, Winston Chu and Sam Dog Eyes Lin, leaders of Water Street and Jade Gangs respectively, were once associates but have since fallen out. It is important to understand that this conflict is not merely between two minor rival gang leaders, but in fact is reflective of a larger struggle for control of the Sun On Yi. More powerful Red Pole leaders are, in effect, waging a proxy war with control of the overall triad at stake. Dog Eyes is supported by Big Smile Lee, a prominent Red Pole with ties to drugs, prostitution, and pornography. I can't tell for sure, but Lee's agenda seems to be to shake up existing power relationships so that he can take advantage of the ensuing chaos. As you know, triad leaders are elected by a majority ballot. Lee is unlikely to win a peacetime election as key Red Poles include, including Broken Nose Jiang, Tu Chin Sao, and Puckmark Chuck are solidly opposed to his leadership. Though unsavory even by triad standards, Big Smile Lee enjoys a reputation for strength and ruthlessness, attributes that are viewed positively in triad culture. He appears to be pursuing a strategy whereby he uses dog eyes to foster chaos within the organization and then uses that chaos to make the case that a strong leadership that, that strong leadership is needed. Okay. So that takes care of that. That's the only thing we've got, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Alrighty. So it looks like we've got a favor just around the corner. Uh, let's go check it out. Excuse me, ma'am. We're heading into the marketplace. I went on to um. Hmm. Let's just go through. Uh. <laughs> okay, this doesn't seem to be as um, 
accessible as they they are saying that it is. So maybe we'll go through here. Uh, sure. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Alright, where is this person at? Oh, yes, I do want some. Yeah, I'll some roast duck. See? You look better already. Thank you. Get some get some health back. Yes. How may I help you? Take Michelle's car. Okay. So she wants some insurance money. Alright, no problem. Oh, we got a case over here. Awesome. Let's go grab that. Alright. Two of 40 discovered in North Point. Another $5,000. Uh, where's this car? Doesn't look like it's in all that good of shape. Okay, don't let the car take too much damage. Drive Michelle's car into the harbor. Alrighty. Ah, people! If you don't want me to take too much damage, then stop running into me like that. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Coming through. We okay, we're gonna run into the harbor, huh? We boom. <laughs> uh. All right, nice some face experience. Two grand made. Very awesome. Very awesome indeed. Uh, come on, way. Get up on the thing, my, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Um, there is a parking thing over here, so maybe we'll run over there. Grab my motorcycle again. Uh, we got another favor around the corner. So what do we got here? Um, take down Popstar Supplier. And here's the next mission. Uh, we've got a favor here, favor here. Um, is that a race? Oh, it's a vehicle stored. Okay. Yeah, we don't really have a whole lot open except for favors and police things and uh, the main mission. So um, that's fine, though. That's not a problem. For now, that'll be enough. Hey, my bud. Yes, I would like to get my motorcycle back. Okay, what I want to do, let's see. I have four different clothing stores in here. Huh. Okay, we got a favor down here. Let's go check it out. Oops. Wasn't me. Nobody saw me. Can't prove anything. Hey, wait! Can you help me out? Yeah, I could help you out. What's up? What's up, my dude? What do you need? A ride. Wait in a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Mm. 
Get on, bud. That asshole was sleeping with my girlfriend. You can't just punch a cop. I know. You gotta have a getaway ready. Really appreciate it. A little warning would be nice. Oh, right. Okay. Yo, for this oh, shit, man. You gotta learn to drive. Think about dumping that girlfriend too, all right? Well, she's not exactly my girlfriend. I really like her though. She's got a nice smile. Dress is real nice. You're not even dating her? Not yet, man. Got to be optimistic, though. Son of a bitch. Is she with that guy? You mean like right now? Come on. We're son on ye. Cops don't got anything on us. Son of a bitch. They're right behind us. They're not, though. I got Gotta this. Thanks, Way. Next time I need to hit a cop, I know who to call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, dude. Head on out. All right, we got some more face experience. Two thousand dollars gained. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look at that. Actually. Um. Sorry. Yeah. So we're still zero for cop experience. We're getting close to level one. Uh, triad zero. Melee training. This was still don't understand how we can have this locked and yet this is open. It's very odd. Uh, face advantage level one. So yeah, we got the face meter unlocked. And then health upgrades. So yeah, we don't have any upgrades available yet. All right, that's fine. We got ourselves a nifty little car here. All right, let's go talk to, um... Hey, clean, clean drive. Well, if this dude would get out of the way. I was doing a clean drive, and then these guys got all in my face. There you go, there you go. And I guess you must need to keep a certain minimum um, speed for that to count. If I can beat my record. Yeah, there you go. Now we're beating my record. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know how I got stuck out in here. Anyway, we were gonna go do some things before I got distracted. Oh, damn it. Okay, uh, where are we? This is the wrong place. Let's go back to um, this. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Lady, you're in the way. Where are you taking me? Ah, piss off. You're alright. You don't need to worry. Relax your situation. Sorry, man. My bad. That's my American habit starting to come out. <laughs> Driving on the wrong side of the road. Hack the security camera, but you'll have to get rid of the thugs first. Entering Lok Fu Park Hangout. Okay. Let's get rid of the thugs, huh? Alright, thugs. Go to the park. Eliminate all the thugs in the hideout. In the hangout. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, stop that, please.
Okay. Hack the camera. Hack the camera. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, um, zero, one, two, three. Okay, this is like the game, uh, what's it called? I can't remember what the game's called. Anyway, uh, invalid placement, invalid digits. So three seems to be right. Um, enter four unique digits. So let's go with, none of these numbers seem to be correct at all. Four, five, and six. So, six is correct. Let's try seven and eight. So six goes here. Uh, eight and six are right, but they're just in the wrong place, so that must be this. No, sorry. Uh, oh, seven is wrong. Um, so six has to go here for sure. Um, Eight has to go here. That makes this nine. Thank you. <laughs> What's that game called where you do that? All right. Uh, use the surveillance feed in your apartment to bust the supplier. All righty. Will do. Where's my car? Take a quick jaunt back to my apartment. Let's see if we can get some surveillance information. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, guys. Use the security surveillance at your apartment. Alrighty. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I'm gonna head upstairs. Get into the apartment. All right. Let's go check it out. Okay. So Central, North Point, Aberdeen, Kennedy Town. So go to North Point. Triad activity. Let's check this out. Identify the supplier and have him arrested. Um, so, how do I know who the supplier is? Um, I'm just supposed to watch for somebody. Who's the supplier? Uh, hmm. Is it this guy? How do I know who it is? I see nothing of any use here. Oh, he's got a red thing over his head. Okay. Does that mean it's him? Arrest him. Get him. That's right. Just stand there while everybody comes in and takes you down. Ah, that's right. Sit down. Fool. We got them. We got them. Call Tang. Okay, Tang. Mr. Tang, this is Wei. Fang Shan is down. Popstar will have to reach out to another supplier. I'm thinking we bag them both at once. I agree. Now, if I'm gonna get close to him, I'm gonna need a good disguise. Can you have your people send something over? All right. Keep me informed. Got it. All right, we did that. Complete. 
Case update. Made contact with the target. Met Popstar's primary supplier. Popstar's supplier was arrested. Popstar's supply was cut off. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. We got some cop experience. Oh, we made a new level. Roy's gained 1200 SPD FV psych evaluation when shy. SFPD. Uh, cool. So we got a new uh, psych evaluation and $1,200. All right, let's check that, that, that psych evaluation on myself. SFPD psychological evaluation, Wei Shen. Subject referred for clinical evaluation per departmental procedure prior to extended deep cover assignment. Protocol. Subject met with Cynthia Dunn, SFPD, department, departmental psychologist for a series of controlled interviews and behavior tests. Evaluation. Officer Shen is a highly intelligent, self-aware, and generally balanced individual. He exhibits a strong moral system and has a clear understanding of the risks involved in long-term long undercover work. I am concerned, however, that the underlying social and cultural factors that may that may make him an effective undercover operative also expose him to psychological, emotional, and procedural risk. Officer Shen was relocated to the United States as an adolescent and has never had a strong father figure or a male role model. Consequently, his sense of identity is, and self is more malleable than officers who spend their formative years rooted in, sing, in a single cultural identity. This makes him highly adaptable and provides him with a certain chameleon-like tendencies that will serve him well when infiltrating a night, tightly knit criminal organization. However, the lack of a strong cultural grounding or a sense of home may be a problem over the course of a prolonged undercover operation. If the chameleon is left too long in a given environment, he may forget his original color. Controlling officers must be careful to ensure that Shen's first loyalty is the police department and that the chameleon doesn't change permanently. Though generally self-aware, Shen does not fully re recognize the malleability of his sense of self. This makes the lack of cultural or familial anchors all the more dangerous, as he may not be aware of shifting loyalties or a point of view until it's too late. All right. Sounds good. Let me take a quick look in our wardrobe, guys. Did we get anything new for that? No, this is all the same. Frisky blockers. They make you look smarter. Face four required. Where did we get those from? Um, I'll have to check that out, guys. I'll let you know when I... Okay. All good. So we did our first surveillance. Uh, there's more of those, as you guys saw in the on the TV. There's plenty of those to get done. That was sort of an introduction to the whole surveillance system. So what is this here? Amanda. All right. I think what I want to do... Let's head over here. We'll, we'll save Amanda for later. Um, we can walk. There's no point in taking the, the, the cars or motorcycles. That's we only gonna just gonna go right over here and then get off of it again. Um, I would like to take a walk through the marketplace a little bit. Um, because if I'm not mistaken, there ought to be some collectibles around in the marketplace. So we'll take a quick scooch around the market. Pet bird. Ah, so this. All right, just hang on a second here, guys. Let me. Just a minute. I need to check my apartment. Uh, safe house upgrades. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we do have some safe house upgrades that we can get. Um, this is one of them. A pet bird. Price includes cage and supplies. So sure, let's grab that. I'm looking for something special. Can I interest you in a pet? They make excellent companions. They're good luck too. 
Sure. You got a sale. Thank you. I know you'll fight in love. We have money for that. Why not? We'll get our first apartment upgrade. Varanos. Okay, what do we got? No, not here. Not you. Must be the next guy over. This guy. What you got, my friend? Even better discount clothing. What you got? Um... Hmm. Okay, um... Face level one. Alright, I think we'll get a few shirts. So let's buy this. Uh, minor thug bonus set. Let's, uh, let's purchase that. Minor thug clothes and You now do plus 5% melee damage, yeah. So yeah, we own that. Pretty out in the way of shoes. Wait, these are hideous. <laughs> Hats. Baseball cap. Just a little better than durian. Hide those blood stains. Sure, we'll get a hat. Why not? And we'll grab the bracelet. I'm here next week. Stop by and say hello. Okay, very nice. Now let's see. We're going this way, right? Alright, let's take a look around. I'm nearly positive there are collectibles in the market, so let's just take a look. I'm like 90% sure. Air conditioning, because you just can't live without it. Uh, yeah, that's another apartment upgrade. We'll uh, hold off on that for right now. Alright, everybody relax. Boy, you guys are being loud. Hmm. Uh, that's one Zard that I already opened. Hmm. I could swear... Excuse me, excuse me. That there was at least... A couple of collectibles. Well, okay. Ah, there's a shrine. Okay, well, shrines are good. Excuse me, everyone, please. Use the hell shrine. Alright, so that's 315 in North Point. Very good, very good. I don't want noodles. Okay, well, we went through the market, I guess. I think we're back around to where we came in, just about. Um, Hey, 
Right. Let's get out of here. This place is crazy. Whew. Okay. Uh, right. We don't have a whole lot of time for much else, but let's go get my bike. Um, not that way. This guy. Yeah, get, grab me my, my motorcycle, please. We can go do a favor. We probably have time for a favor. There's one just over here. Fashion advice. All right, let's go. Dude, could you get right in the way? That'd be great. Alrighty, here we go. We're heading out. Let's go check out this favor. Okay, where's this person at? Hey, mister! You got a moment? Sure. You okay there? Yeah, sure. What's going on? Do you think this shirt is too tight? Um... Sure? Oh! Run, Gibson, run! Oh, you're dead. You're dead. How dare you take five hundred dollars from me? Come on, dude. Move it. Move it, my friend. You're going nowhere, fool. Oh, you want a beating? Smacked ya. That's right. Favor complete. Got some face experience. Five hundred dollars back. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Um. Where's that lady at? I'm gonna smack her around too for making me chase after that guy. So I would presuppose that I remember the path back. I think it was there, she, where it was, but nope, she's not there. Of course not. Why would she be? Okay, well, we did that favor. It's all good. Hang on here just a second, guys. I'm going to check something out here. Okay, sorry, guys. I just wanted to try to get that taskbar out, out of my way. Um, okay. Very nice, very nice. Um, I think we'll probably, uh, stop here. So let's head back to the, um, the apartment. And check out our stuff. Also, awful nice of you to tell me the turn right there just before the... This is my parking spot. Okay, we do have a mission sitting right there, which is, um... It's green, so that must be, uh... Well, that's an actual mission. It's called Amanda. Let me just check that out for a second. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. Couple of main missions available. 
So let's see. Let's check out our wardrobe real fast. Um, I don't think anything new will have shown up that wasn't already in our inventory. Although I'm going to have trouble with this because um, I'm never going to eventually remember what I bought and what not. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me. Um, looks like all the jeans are the same. Shoes are the same. But we got a new hat, which we bought. The baseball cap. Uh, frisky blockers, I'm not really sure where we got those from. Let me see if I can find out. Oh, I can't. Um, hmm. Uh, the bracelet, yeah, we got. Just a second. Let me see if I can figure that out. Frisky blockers. Okay, guys, I'm not really sure why those frisky blockers showed up in my inventory. To be honest, I really don't have any idea. Um, honored face. Where the success rate received ten percent bonus to face ex face XP. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that's in my inventory. Um, but sure. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll see if I can figure that one out. But later. All right, gang. Uh, let's take a look at our um, upgrades. We do have a cop upgrade available. So Slim Jim. Use a Slim Jim to quickly break into cars without setting off the alarm or breaking a window. Uh, fast disarm. Way can disarm gun-wielding enemies with this without a struggle. Um, breaking into cars is probably a good thing. Yeah, let's get that. Sure. Let's go ahead and grab the, the uh, Slim Jim. Triad upgrade. We're not quite there yet, so sure. Uh, melee training. I guess we'll get the tackle strike. Strike after tackling the enemy. No, we can't. Okay. So it's it says it's available, but it's not. i got to get this first. I'm not really sure why. One statue's to return. Hmm. Okay. I think I know what that's about, but I... I just from when I played this game originally, but it's been a while, so I'm not quite positive. I th have an idea, though. That uh, face meter. Yeah, we haven't got this yet. Um, and health upgrades. We've got three out of five for the next health upgrade. So, yeah, that's it for upgrades. Uh, the social hub. Let's take a look. Um, we got the silver for martial artists, so that's good. Um Personal best for car jump, clean drive. Um, sure, night market chase. So, uh, stat awards. Um, let's see, what is going on here? Ninja. Sneak kills performed by approaching an enemy from behind and pressing BB. Interesting. Huh. Okay, we'll have to get that. Do we not do environmentalist? Oh, we got seven. Okay. See, it takes a while for this to pop in, which is kind of annoying. Um, there we go. We got a bronze for counters. 48. We almost got silver. Nice. Uh, fast talk success. Fast talker. Don't know what that means. Dead eye. Hey, we got silver for martial artists. Nice. Um, 51. Total melee kills. Doesn't seem too hard. Reckless driver. Thirty percent. So we are, we're currently at four point one seven percent. That's pretty good. Um, Explorer. Total shrines and lockboxes found. Statues returned and security cameras hacked. Okay, so there you go. Shrines and lockboxes found. Statues returned and security cameras hacked. So yeah, we've got a few of those. Uh, time survived at any heat level above one. Okay, so we got fifty-two seconds out of three minutes. Cool. Cops killed at any, any heat level above one. Mm. Most kills in one play stay, one play session. <laughs> so I got to kill two hundred people in one play session. Ah, interesting. 
Number of enemies thrown into Zodiac com Island combat props. That's pretty specific. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. We got three overall uh, score. Okay, I wasn't actually done with that. Uh, let's see. Stat games. This I don't really care too much about. Um, and then missions. Yeah, okay. I guess I was done with that. All right, let's take a look at our statistics. Stats. Um, again, 0, 028 events. We've got four favors completed out of 36. Zero out of 50 jobs. Four out of 30 missions completed. One out of 26 cameras hacked. Uh, one out of 10 police upgrades unlocked. So that's not bad. So no cases, no melee training. Uh, 0, 021 races. 13.33% of the story finished. Uh, 0 out of 10 triads. Uh, anything else that's in here? Nope. Okay. So there you go. That's for it for statistics. Uh, collectibles. Uh, health shrines, 3 out of 50. All in North Point. Spy cameras, 1 out of 9 in North Point. 1 out of 26 in total. And lockboxes, 2 out of 40 in North Point. 2 out of 100 in total. So there you go with collectibles. Assets. So we got the 270, well for vehicles we got the 270DX, so you guys can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could get, um, which we will eventually. Uh, 7 out of 243 clothing collected. Now let me see if I can find a t-shirt. Just says t-shirt, well that's not especially useful. <laughs> what kind of t-shirt? But sure. Uh, a knockoff Huang plus Sui V-neck. Hmm. The Fox J Jiggler canvas sneakers. Frisky blockers. Okay, I mean, we got that. I'm, I'm not really sure why. Um, I'll have to check into that one and see if I can give you guys an answer in the next episode. Um, I know there's two that are for sale. That's what these two are going to be, but I don't know what this one is, so that's interesting. Uh, awareness band, we, we bought that today, we bought the baseball cap. So, uh, very baggy jeans we bought earlier, and yeah, there you go. Alright, that's it. Very nice, guys. We are done here. Uh, let me take a moment to thank my patrons. My $5 plus patrons are Michael Hilliard and Tor Gregory. You're going to see the details of my $3 and $1 plus patrons in the description below and at the end of this episode, respectively. Please do go take a look at those links, guys. Really good stuff in there. You're going to want to go take a look. Thank you very much, gang. It's a huge help to this channel, and I do very much appreciate the assistance that you provide, so thanks a lot for that. All right, y'all. We are going to stop here, and we're going to pick this back up in the next episode, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to comment, like, and subscribe. All these things really help me out. I'd like to say a big thanks to all my patrons whose names are appearing on the screen right now. Thanks a lot guys, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more great content, consider joining my list of patrons. There's a link on the screen in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you in the next video.